Now, if you've ever had that sinking feeling, be assured you're not imagining things here along our coast. We actually are sinking. And according to some new research from scientists at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, it's getting worse. Our Michael Gibson has more on the story for us tonight. You can look all up and down our coastline and you won't be able to see subsidence. But during huge rain events and hurricanes, you will soon be able to see the consequences of the land sinking. Experts say that mainly happens when groundwater and oil is taken from the ground. We found very interesting uh, conclusions that the land subsidence in the coastal area increasing the intensity of flooding and frequency. Dr. Mohammed Ahmed is an assistant professor of geophysics at A&M Corpus Christi Center of Water Supply Studies. He says from 2016 to 2019, a huge section of South Texas from Victoria down to McAllen was studied by his group of researchers. They were checking to see how the land moves over time. With very comprehensive study and at each of those areas, we quantified the rate of land subsidence. Some of those areas uh, witnessed land subsidence as large as minus 10 millimeter per year, which is a huge, huge number. Some of those hot spots were in places like Victoria and Live Oak County as Eagleford shell operations sucked out huge amounts of groundwater and oil. Even Oasis Bay was seeing subsidence greater than three millimeters per year, but the reasons are unknown. Extraction generally we believe it initiate and activate movement along faults and and those could initiate land subsidence in some areas growth faults that are spread out all along our coastline those black lines that you see in those maps are faults subsurface faults jim jabot is with the heart research institute and is the endowed chair for geospatial sciences he worries that some of the structures along our coast could now be at risk for damage because of the rising seas and the sinking land. A really important difference though is if part of the building is going down at a different rate than another part of the building. And then you have, that's what I refer to as differential subsidence. And if that differential subsidence is cutting across your building footprint, then I would imagine that that would cause much bigger um, structural problems. Both scientists say that in the coming years, flooding will become more of a problem because of subsidence. While the problem can't be reversed, it could be slowed down through better groundwater management and urban planning. Michael Gibson, 3 News.